Hello everybody, testing, one, two, three, testing, how are you all doing? This is Motorwind, I am Variax, and this is a video uh, in which you can read me loud and clear and in a 50 frames per second medium. The reason I'm uploading this is because of the last Vima episode that I uploaded. Um, which was subpar on a technical standpoint and this video will go through the reasons why I uploaded it why those existed in the first place those issues and um, and what I did to resolve them so why did I upload that because I was in two minds and I think I've boiled it down to a uh, misplaced sense of obligation and duty and one of frustration as well um, I have a new computer, a very nice new computer, and it is an upgrade, despite what people might think, um, a very significant upgrade, and uh, we've had our little tiffs, uh, but after a week we've sort of got our differences ironed out, and now we're getting along just fine. I shall put the specs to it in the uh, description below, um, and I will even put the specs of my old one so you can compare. So. Um, why was it the way it was? When the, the, the major issue I had with this PC was was the sound, specifically the inputs. Uh, the motherboard isn't a bad motherboard, it's an ASUS uh, Gamer Pro motherboard. Um, but uh, the output is a lot better than the input, as I said in the Vima episode itself. And uh, when I first tried to record on it, it sounded bloody terrible. And after a lot of, uh, you know, fiddling with it, I went with uh, the result that we had because if you'd have heard it when you when I first started you'd have thought that the you know audio in the Vima episode Vima 10 isn't that bad at all considering <laughs> what it started off as but it's all relative isn't it and compared to what it is now and this isn't you know super awesome quality this is a really cheap mic but it's going into a pretty decent sound card and that is the key I didn't want to install this sound card on this PC for two reasons, uh, stubbornness, you know, I've put a new PC, you know, I've spent a lot of money on it, I don't want to put any, you know, scavenge stuff for, for it, uh, there was that factor, and there was also the fact that I sort of uh, suck and am a bit uh, newish when it comes to installing hardware, um, so I didn't want to install it because I knew that I didn't know, and I still don't know, how to connect the front ports uh, on the case to the new sound card. So, um, I would lose their connectivity if I installed it, and lo and behold, that has happened. Well, actually, I'm assuming it has. I haven't used them, because what I've done is I've figured out that I can just use the other ports anyway, because I can plug the microphone into the back of, you know, in the new sound card, well, the old sound card. I can plug the speakers into the sound card, and I can plug my headphones into the speakers, and when I need to, like I have now. And that seems to work pretty damn well, so... My misgivings about the sound card were misplaced in both cases. So, uh, I have installed the sound card. I have a very nice setup right now. I'm sure there'll be comments, you know, helping, saying, Oh, you only need to take the uh, port from the motherboard here and plug it into there. I did have a little look, but I, I know, and I even, like, read the manual and stuff, but it didn't, I, I couldn't work it out. <laughs> so, so I left it, because I have a setup right now that works in terms of sound, as you can hear. And uh, I have a very nice set of headphones, um, despite this cheap mic. Uh, the the headphones the actual, are on my ears are extremely very nice indeed. But the, the mic that came with them sucked, which annoyed me. But there we go. So I have the cheap mic and I have the uh, nice headphones. So anyway, um, so that was that was the sound. So that's resolved now because, you know, I've, I've installed the old sound card, the Sound Blaster Orgy that uh, was in my old computer. And... Uh, and now, and now, after a bit of tweaking, I've got it pretty much how it was before, so hooray. So, the graphics. Why were they all iffy? This one's an interesting one. I wouldn't mind some, um, some input on this one, if you guys don't mind. On my old rig, uh, I had a two, uh, sorry, a one terabyte external hard drive, which I had plugged in via USB 2, as you do, you know? And that's what I used to record on. Um... Which was fine, you know, it, it never failed, it was all good and everything was fine and, uh, you know, as the results of the past few years of LPing, as is a result of that setup. So, 
that's what I brought over to the new one. But I plugged it into a USB 3 port. I've been testing Skyrim and that records absolutely fine onto the hard drive. But because uh, Fraps works better when you record onto a hard drive that the game that you're recording is not installed on. Um, so all my, you know, all my games were stored internally, so I recorded externally. Um, now Skyrim's on the same drive as this, which is the, uh, oh yeah, the, uh, the solid state hard drive that I have. Um, the, the 500 gig solid state hard drive. I have my OS installed on, I have Skyrim, which I am modding the hell out of, and I have this. Um, now when I sort of test Skyrim for the upcoming LP, it works absolutely fine when I record it to the external hard drive on USB 3. But, as we saw on, uh, you know, the last uh, Vima episode, it doesn't seem to like it. I am now recording this onto my external, my internal hard drive, my two gigabyte internal hard drive, which this game is not installed on. Okay, it's on the, the solid state drive. Um, and that cleared it up. I also uh, upped fraps so that it would record, you know, more than 30 frames per second, but that, that never affected Skyrim. Um, so it's all a bit strange why this game would not record to the uh, external hard drive on USB 2 when it was 3, sorry, when it was fine on USB 2. I haven't actually tried install, you know, put in the, uh, the hard drive in a USB 2 port and see if that makes a difference because this is going to be kind of annoying because I'm recording on the internal hard drive, the 2 terabyte one. I'm actually going to, you know, install some games on that. Um, so I, I kind of, you know, don't want to be recording on it as well because sometimes I'm going to be recording those games as well. So I'm going to have to swap those out to somewhere else to be recorded. I don't know. Um, bit weird, but there we go. So if anyone has any ideas why that happens, why this game does not want to be recorded onto the uh, USB 3 internal, you know, external hard drive, I'd be interested to hear. Um, but for now, we have it working and everything is fine. So... Next time, next video, next Vima video, we shall be recording in this sort of quality and it is lush and lovely and everything is glorious and you guys can hear me and uh, hopefully I'll get some comments about the gameplay because there haven't been that many in, in Vima 10 even though I gotta say the gameplay is pretty good. I mean, you know, despite the technical issues, I, I really enjoyed playing the game in that, well, I always do, in that, you know, in that, in that episode, but you know what I mean, I, th I think, it, you know, but I, I can understand that that's, you know, people's primary concern. is like, hang on a minute, you sound like crap, man. I mean, even more than normal. So that's fixed now. It is fixed. It has been resolved. Everything is fine. All good. And I've sort of, like, been a bit long-winded in this video to make a thorough testing of this while I've been recording and yabbering away. And it hasn't missed a, missed a step, has it? Mr. Beat. So, everything's good. So next time when we return to Vima, we will get this and... Hopefully all of my videos will now look and sound this good, I hope. So, um, alright then. I shall see you next time for some more Vima and indeed other yes, videos. Sir. So until then, cheers very much for watching. Hope that clears everything up. And toodaloo.